Hey guys, I'm doing a quick tutorial today just to show hue inside of Seaborn, inside of a pear plot. So let's just do a quick pear plot example. I'm uh, going to pop in recipes on a data frame, click on charts, and I'm going to go ahead and insert an example of a pear plot. And when I do that, you'll see that row 64 quickly will load a data set as well as do an actual pear plot. And the, the best thing about it is you can look and see what the Python that's being generated from, from uh, row 64's recipes. Super quick and easy way to start learning more about your data, but obviously you can isolate and you know, change this data to whatever you're looking for. But um, basically, you can kind of see here relationships and clusters kind of appearing. But uh, let's say, for example, you wanted to use uh, something called Hue. Hue is a tool that you can immediately inject right into um, row 64's uh, IDE here. And maybe we want to do it on the name of the flower. So what we've loaded here is a, you know, a data set that has sepal length and sepal width and the petal length and the petal width of, a, of specific uh, iris flowers. Um, and you'll see here, this doesn't mean much. There's obviously some clustering that's appearing. But let's say, for example, you did this and you hit rerun, right? You reran this. You're going to get a lot more information now and able to see um, you know, the three different types of flowers that this is doing for and better visualize um, potential relationships between um, each of these, uh, these, these variables. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, Hue is, and inside of pair plots, is just a really powerful way to, to help with uh, predictive modeling. Uh, thanks so much. Visit us at row64.com and make sure that you register for our forums where you can ask questions, request new features, report bugs, and talk to us as well as engage in our active community. We really thank you for joining us today and welcome to the future of data science.